Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel, Thoughts of Lighter Hair. This idea of this clip came into mind when I was getting ready this morning and I've recently just finished work and I have really kind of started to have some thoughts about, positive thoughts about having had my hair lightened. Now in this light, I'm always struggling to get to show you how, just how light my hair actually has got. But if I show you under my, as I call my YouTube light, you'll see just how bright and very silvery my hair is. And I absolutely love it. I really, really love uh, having had it done. Um, I had it done professionally where I go to my regular hairdressers and really, really like it. But I've been kind of having some thoughts and I wanted to kind of put this together in a very quick sort of snappy clip. So first things first, what have I noticed in regards to lighter hair? So how much the colour differs? Now, when I say that, I don't mean, obviously, when you've had it lightened, you have that certain, you have that sort of, that permanent lightness, which is fantastic. But of course, keeping that even is a shock to me, to be quite honest, as I didn't really prepare how much it varies in terms of, because my hair was really naturally dark and I had it lightened um, in highlights, the yellow tones and the brassiness, which comes back through. Literally, by the second day, I can notice change. By the third day, I'm having to start using a like a purple shampoo or a toning shampoo, whatever you want to call it. Um, and, I'm, and I've got a couple of those now just to try and keep on top of that. I try and do it about every third day. So it is a little bit of a balance you have to find, but I do, I am actually quite shocked in terms of how much they can make a difference as well. And by the third day, time I've used it, you can actually really see that it's almost like that I've had it refreshed, I've had it redone, and the lightness, the greyness comes flooding back in and it looks really, really nice, sleek and professional. If I wanted to get that real nice natural kind of uh, light and look from the sun, then I think I would calm down on the, on the purple uh, sort of toning shampoo products and then I think I would get a more of a natural colour through but my worry would be how yellow it would actually come through but it's not the, light, the look I like at all. I was going for more the silvery look and when I started this I originally had a chat with the person who was doing my hair at the time um, and I remember her saying to me did you want to go for the real cool tones as in a grey look or did you want the real sort of natural sort of blonde quite not yellowy of course but like a real natural sort of almost like a summery look um, and I was very clear I wanted the cool tones but I have to admit keeping the cool tones is a lot of work um, but it's something which I really, really like and for now it's working fantastically I like the look what I've got um, it looks quite dark I'm just going to grab as you can see, it's very, very silvery and it's really, really cool. It's really, really lovely. And in that sort of volumized pompadour look, it looks incredible, if I don't say so myself. And I really am a fan of that and I really do like it. I've had a whole bunch of compliments and everybody thinks it suits me and I'm really, really pleased about that. Um, let's move on. Texture. Now, my hair is in good condition and I always kind of had that little bit of apprehension that when you had your hair lightened, that it would get super, super dry. Now, my hair isn't super dry, it changes texture though, and not in terms of being dry, but it does change the texture. So my hair, for example, I've always struggled with being very flat, very sort of mirrored, sort of real, if you can think of the most shiniest, sleekest, flattest, flattest kind of object, that was my hair. And I really struggled to get volume in it. I really struggled uh, to get a lot of uh, to any shape, any texture in terms of my hair. I have a lot of hair, but it's very fine. Um, so I have to be really quite tactical with what the products I use, which is why a lot of my channel is about different products for creating full and thick hair. I'm not losing hair, but of course, fine, flat hair can often sometimes appear see-through and quite light in texture. But I, what, something which has really stood out to me that having highlights gives your hair almost like a bit more of a rougher feel. Not dry, and rough is probably the wrong word to use, but it kind of makes the hair feel almost though that you haven't used so much conditioner is the only way I can describe it. My apologies if that doesn't make sense. But um, it, it just makes the hair feel not so sleek. It makes the hair feel as though it's actually hair and it's not as flat and sleek. Very often if you've made the mistake of using a sort of a smoothing shampoo or a smoothing conditioner, which is of course designed for thicker hair, I believe, it can make your hair feel really like you haven't got none at all and it makes your hair feel really thin and flat. Um, whereas the lightening process, I have found that when I'm going to styling my hair, it gives my hair a little bit of natural texture and not in a bad way, not that it's damaged my hair at all, um, but it just gives a little bit more of a texture, kind of almost like a bit more of a resistance in the hair. Rather than it being so soft and flat and sleek it just gives it a little bit of a oomph and a bit more of a lift so that's really really great and I didn't really ever think that I would get that from having highlights throughout my hair particularly because I've had them done really really fine um, and a quite quite a surprise I have to admit to be honest with you so let's move on so thirdly 
in terms of helping me with my style. Yeah, that sounds a little bit strange. But having highlights, and I'm just going to show you for the very last time how light my hair is. It actually makes my hair look thicker. So very often, if I'm using like uh, products to create a pompadour style, so lots and lots of volume, I have made the mistake sometimes that where my hair goes up too far or I put it up too high with the brushes and the combs and the spray and things, very often if I turn my head or something, I might have missed an area and you can see through it. That has actually completely gone away because I found that having highlights throughout my head, less so at the back, but more now in the front, which was the opposite way around. I had them done very sparingly throughout my head just to see if I, if I liked it or not. Then when I liked it and I had more done, it actually has given me the effect of having a, looking as though the hair's more fuller. So because there's quite a few different tones going on, it's really, really made made the impression kind of to me when I'm styling my hair, if I'm if I'm I am going a little bit high on one side in volume and then I turn my head, rather than before when my hair was dark. Um, and you could kind of see through it, the lightness has really, really broken the texture up and it does make it look thicker. So really, really quite surprising. Now, when I say that I'm really, really loving and really enjoying my hair at the moment, I absolutely am. Would I go back to my natural darker hair in the future? Possibly, absolutely possibly. It's not going to be something which I would really like to keep up. This was just like a change for how I'm feeling at the moment. You could say a bit down in the dumps, a bit flat with health problems and things going on. Everything with kind of the COVID uh, pandemic at the moment. It's just nice to throw yourself into a different uh, different style, different change. And small things make a difference when you look in the mirror and it really helps you feel positive about yourself. And it certainly has made me feel really quite uplifted, quite positive and quite cool and trendy about myself as well. Now, the only reason why it wouldn't be something which I would keep up all the time is just very simply because of the time it takes to do it. Um, and if anybody has it done regularly and has had it done regularly for years and years and years, the time what you must have to put aside because of the root regrowth if you've got long hair um, is just incredible. And my, my hat goes off to you, as they say, because it is such a commitment and it's such a sort of a time frame, the amount of time you've got to sit with it. And then if they've got to tone it and then if they've got to use different products on afterwards, it's a hell of a process. It really, really is. But not one I would regret. I'm really, really happy I've done it. And for now and for the summer, fantastic. And I think actually coming into the winter, it would be really nice to have a few done. Um, not so much in the front, not so silvery possibly in the front throughout the winter, but just so it just gives that bit of edginess, that bit of texture throughout the hair, um, when of course the winter months can be quite dull and quite flat on us all. I love winter, but I love summer more so, I have to admit, I think. Um, just a shame that I don't I don't get the opportunity to rock rock them on a on a nice summer holiday this year, unfortunately. Okay, so that is my summer thoughts for my highlights. See what I've done there? So that was my thoughts on lighter hair. Just recently had it done. And I would absolutely recommend in terms of men's hair, possibly if you're a little bit thinner, perhaps you're losing hair, um, if it's done in the right way, if you've got crazily thick hair as well, if it's done in the right way by a professional, you needn't worry about it damaging your hair or making your hair um, in more of a worse condition or drying your hair out. If it's done by a professional, I absolutely urge you stay away from trying to do it at home because I think when you're going from such dark hair as well, if you've got problematic hair or perhaps you've got a little bit of a sensitive scalp, so many things can go wrong. So always put those kind of ideas in terms of lightening hair, whether it be for a man or a woman, my recommendation would be always see a professional. Okay, thanks very much indeed for watching my clip and until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.